Hey there guys, welcome to the light space and welcome to another unscripted video. Um, today I'm going to be talking about the subject of success, but more in terms of the journey of success and what you encounter along that particular experience. First and foremost, I don't consider myself to be a hugely successful person as of yet. I'm still very much on my journey, but as um, as someone who has always been chasing dreams, I've literally, uh, ever since I was a kid, I've always chased the idea, the dream of being a performer or someone who creates content that sort of reaches the lives of millions of people. Um, particularly in the last five years, I've been chasing a very, very particular goal. It's only really the last five years that I've been really sort of chasing a particular vision with a very particular path. I just wanted to explain what the journey might look like for some of you out there who might just be starting out on your journey or for some who are still sort of on the fence about it. I just wanted to talk a little bit about the journey of success and what I've encountered along my personal experience um, to hopefully inspire and prepare you for what you might encounter. Now in terms of dreams, I'm not talking about a small scale sort of dream as in reaching um, you know, a, a sort of job that's, that's quite that's quite commonplace or having sort of just enough money to sort of get by or be just a little affluent. I'm talking about a big scale dream here that changes the lives of millions of people and provides you with tremendous financial abundance. I'm talking about a big scale dream. I'm talking more about that kind of vision here. If you are the kind of person who is chasing that kind of dream, I don't know if you just want to make it to a certain industry and sort of emulate your heroes, or you want to be a total innovator and create something that's never been done before. You want to be a real game changer. This is the kind of dream I'm talking about. That kind of dream is going to take you a long time to reach. I hate to say it, but it's going to take you multiple years to reach your destination. Um, what will happen in the initial stages is when you start out on this journey, it will be very exciting for you. Um, you tend to have a lot of beginner's luck along the, uh, the start, say like the first year to two years of your journey. It's going to be very exciting for you because you're starting out on a new adventure and you've got loads of innocent sort of enthusiasm and you're new to the journey. So it's going to be very exciting for you and most likely you'll have a lot of beginner's luck along that first sort of journey. So, so enjoy that, enjoy the first sort of year, enjoy the freshness of it, the newness of it. Most likely you'll get pretty far, you'll make pretty good tracks in the first sort of year or two. And what I've found after that, you, you'll start to encounter quite a few failures. Failure isn't a bad thing, failure is part of the journey. Undoubtedly, there are going to be many, many failures and setbacks and rejections and stuff like that, but it's not a bad thing. Every failure is a lesson learned one step closer. People think that when they start out on this journey, they're either going to fail or succeed. Uh, as if it, as if they don't have a say in the matter. But you only, you only fail if you give up, and you only succeed if you keep going. Okay, so it's, it's up to you which one you do. As long as you keep um, persisting, you will succeed. Rejection and failure is just a part of the journey because you figure out, oh, this doesn't work, so I can try that now. So it just gets you a little bit closer. Uh, you'll get used to that. But after the first sort of initial stage, maybe after you've been doing it for a couple of years, you'll find that you know you're, you're going to start reaching the. The, those times when you just feel like nothing is happening, you feel like the earth is standing still, you know, you've come up with fantastic idea after brilliant idea and it hasn't worked out for some reason, you know, you, you thought you had lightning in a bottle, you thought you had the next big thing and then for whatever reason it didn't work so you had to go back to the drawing board and, and start all over again. There's going to be a lot of that and there's going to be times when you get really fed up of it, you get really sick and you get really sick and tired of, of just not being where you want to be and sort of struggling, you know, you get really tired of the struggle, you get really tired of sort of, of not having what you want. And it's during the, these kind of times when a lot of people give up because they get so tired of having to persist and they get so fed up of not being where they want to be. It can be quite grueling and enduring. But it's during these times that, that the heroes are made. It's during these times that most people give up. So that's the point when you've really got to keep at it. I'm 31 now. And what I've, I've, I've seen in my older life is that a lot of my friends now, they, they've, they're they kind of giving up on their dreams. Um, you know, as, as you get older, a lot of people are saying, you know, I'm getting I'm getting a bit older now. They, they, so they just get, they want to get a steady job, a steady paycheck. They get tired of the struggle. You know, they're starting families and getting married and stuff like that. And I totally understand it. You know, I, I totally get why, why you would want that. It can get very frustrating sort of living you know, not not being sure when the next paycheck is coming from, and the, dealing with the uncertainty of not knowing when things are going to change, it it can be it can be pretty tiring after a while. 
Um, but you know, you've, you've got to, you've just got to keep at it at times like this. Persistence is hands down the trait you're going to need the most. Without a shadow of a doubt, you're going to need a lot of persistence. Other things are required, you know, skill and talent and vision, knowledge. But persistence, I think, is, is really the trait that separates, you know, the boys from the men, so to speak. It really... It really separates the quitters from the winners. Most people give up. It's easy to start out on a new journey, I find, because it's exciting and it's new and it's fresh, you know. But when times get hard and you've you've had you've had so many failures, it's, it can get a little grueling. And a lot of people they just want to give up. I um, when I started out and and to this day, I study a lot of people's journey to success. Really big successful people. There's very noticeable correlation between their journeys. And um, that is that they, they all went through a lot of struggle, they all went through a lot of hard times and uh, they were very much, you know, uh, mavericks, they were very much the only person in their, in their, out of their friends who was doing it, you know, you're going to find that you're probably going to be the, the only person within your sort of social group who's doing this. Uh, if, if you're not, then that's fantastic, you've got people to share the journey with. I, d I did, who, I mean, I do have friends who are chasing dreams now, but it's just, it's, Less so now that I'm a bit older. So you'll find what I'm trying to say is that you're you're gonna you're gonna have to stand on your own two feet and be very self-confident because there aren't gonna be many people who are chasing a big dream like you. So you're gonna have to really believe in yourself and stand on your own two feet as an individual, as as a lone spirit. You know you're gonna have to really be prepared because a lot of these people who were successful, you know, they were very much by themselves for a lot of this journey because you you kind of. You kind of have to be. It's not the same for everybody, but you, you're the only person who understands your vision. So a lot of these these big successful people, you know, they went through a lot of hard times. I read about Sylvester Stallone about how he was he was homeless before he he um, he sold Rocky. J.K. Rowling, and she was uh, she was incredibly depressed, living off of welfare at the age of 30 before the Harry Potter books suddenly took off. Um, Harrison Ford, many people, they, they all have a similar journey and that is that they had to persist uh, for many, many years, go through uh, failure after failure and they all persisted like champions, real warrior champions. They, they hung in there where so many people wouldn't and they kept at it and their dreams became a reality. It paid off big time. The reason why it, it, the, the, the journey is, is tough is because the payoff is so big. You know, you're, you're, you're creating a dream that provides you with huge financial abundance and changes the lives of millions of people. Maybe you've got a product that's going to change the world. You know, you've got it's going to take a lot of time and energy to build up enough momentum to smash through those barriers and, and bring that bring that dream to life. You know, and the payoff is big, so it's, it's going to take a lot of hard work to get there. Um, so I'm not trying to scare anybody. I'm, I'm ultimately I'm trying to say that keep at it and your dream will become a reality. It is law. That's something I learned from, from from books like Think and Grow Rich is that if you persist for long enough, you will make it. It is law. If you know exactly what you want and you persist every single day, you have to eventually succeed. So hang in there and keep at it and enjoy the journey as much as you can. And be ready to, to just, just get back up and keep going. You know, you're going to have to be you're going to have to be brave, you know, and you're going to have to be proud of yourself. You're going to be proud of what you're doing and you have to be brave because, there, you know, there might come times when you're running out of money or, you know, the bills are piling up. If I had a penny for every time I had a phone call from a, uh, a creditor or, you know, a late payment, I'd be absolutely rich. You know, if I had a penny for every time I had to sell something to make ends meet, I'd be a very wealthy man right now. But it's, again, it's just part of the journey. At the end of the day, you, your, your dream is going to become a reality. You have to believe that and have faith. And you'll make it, you'll make it like all of your heroes, and you'll be one of those rare, rare, rare people who makes a real difference in this world, you know? But you're gonna have to be a warrior, you're gonna have to be brave, and stand up and be prepared to, to keep at it no matter what. But what I would like to say is that, although I don't consider myself a successful person just yet, I have met, I've had many experiences in my life where I, 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 I made it past a certain plateau or I got a certain job, and the feeling of, of actually breaking through and you know getting past those barriers or or creating something that starts to grow you know getting a taste of success of that big time success it is the greatest feeling in the world it cannot be measured and it cannot be compared to anything it is the most wonderful feeling in the world when you finally get somewhere when you see big progress when something finally happens when you get a pat on the back from your friends when you start getting emails or messages from people saying how much they appreciate what you've done when you see 
thousands of views or you know when you get a phone call saying that you got that you got the job you were looking to get whether you're an actor or a musician it is the greatest feeling in the world it really is and that is what it will keep you motivated you know when you um when you have stuff like that happen it will motivate you so much when you get a taste of what the good life feels like you know it'll light that fire you know a hundred times brighter within you so that's all for now guys i hope that you continue along your journey and uh, thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video